Our next speaker is absolutely amazing, as is everyone. She is the UN Special Repertoire in the Field of Cultural Rights and is a professor of international law at the University of California, Davis School of Law. Karima is the Dayton Literary Peace Prize award-winning author of Your Fatwa Does Not Apply Here. Can we please give a warm welcome to Karima Benoon? My name is Sado Ali Warsame. I was born in 1950 in the northern Kane region of Somalia. I come from a nomadic family from the Dulbahante sub-clan of the Harti Darud, a tribe which descends from the family of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I am a singer, a songwriter, a poet, and a parliamentarian. My art and my work center around political and social justice, but my career began in songwriting, and I became well-known in my country for my mastery of traditional Somali music. I used my voice to confront corruption and tyranny. I encouraged people to think about justice, love, and unity. My homeland has been struggling for peace for 25 years. In the 1990s, a civil war erupted and I was forced to leave Somalia for an exotic land called Minneapolis. <laughs> there I produced my most fav famous song, Land Cruiser which called out the Siad Barre government for using foreign aid donations to buy expensive cars. During this time, I toured with other Somali singers like Kadir Abdullah, playing in more exotic places like Chicago and Atlanta. Kadir once said of me, while she was singing, I knew she was a leader and a politician. She wanted to lead from the front, and I did. I sang on stage with my head uncovered. In 2011, I debuted a new protest song, Digshil Hadigan, about the diversion of remittances from Somali families to support violence. I warned that this money from us will kill our children. In 2012, the federal parliament of Somalia was established, and I returned to serve in the new government as a member of that parliament but I would only be able to serve my country for two years. On July 23rd, 2014, my driver and I were en route to a hotel as we passed through the Hodan district of Mogadishu. Due to a heavy security presence, this is considered one of the safest areas of the city. But we were gunned down, and my driver and I died instantly. I was given a state funeral attended by the president, the prime minister, the mayor of Mogadishu, legislators, and popular artists. The prime minister said, I, embe I am embedded in Somali culture. I was laid to rest at the Medina Hospital Cemetery. El Shabab, a jihadist group with ties to Al Qaeda, claimed responsibility for my death as part of its campaign to kill civil servants. My Somalia is still suffering, and last Thursday, 20 people died, including an entire family, when El Shabaab attacked the Lido Seafront restaurant. I fear that my warning that Mogadishu will never be at peace will come true if the world does not hear our voices. I will never sing again, and I will sing forever. My name is Sado Ali. Warsame. <laughs> 